And now to President Donald Trump's first 100 days. And Education Secretary Betsy DeVos visited Miami today. She spent time at SLAM. That's a school run by rapper Pitbull, who was on hand to greet Secretary DeVos. But before that, she made two other stops. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana was there when the Secretary visited Florida International University. Cradling a newborn baby named Matthew, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos tours the FIU Nursing School's simulated training and research center. The mannequin mother and baby can move and respond just like real patients. The level of realism, we try to make it as high as possible. So we don't fake anything. We use actual needles. We, we actually use the simulators. But beyond that, everything is authentic. The FIU visit was the second South Florida stop for Secretary DeVos Thursday. Earlier in the day, she met with students and teachers at Care Elementary School in Miami. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet. She read to the children and presented them with a proclamation from President Trump, supporting what she believes are the benefits of the school choice model. At Care Elementary, an awesome example of the opportunity provided through the Florida Tax Credit Scholarship Program. Nearly all of the students here are participating in that program and wouldn't be here were it not for that opportunity. DeVos, a private and charter school advocate, was just barely confirmed as education secretary despite concerns from both parties. While some protested her visit at FIU, the faculty and staff at Care Elementary seemed happy to have her on campus. We're excited to see her. It's definitely a rare opportunity and it's a blessing. It is a blessing that she came here just for us and we are so grateful that she came and gave us a plaque for our school. Secretary DeVos also visited SLAM Charter School. Yes, that SLAM, the one that Pitbull is a part of, Mr. 305 himself. We are told she will be visiting a Miami-Dade County public school on Friday. At FIU, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.